You know, some days just call for a special breakfast or brunch. You know, something sweet and decadent and a little over the top. And you shouldn't miss out just because you're eating the Gundry way. That's why I came up with a plant paradox friendly version of everyone's favorite indulgent breakfast, blueberry pancakes. Now my oven baked blueberry pancake is a little different. For one, it's not made of wheat flour and it's not slathered in maple syrup. It's kind of a cross between a pancake and a cake. And it's perfect for this time of year when blueberries are actually in season. But you can make it all year round, just leave out the blueberries. No matter what, it's still delicious. It's got loads of flavor on its own, thanks to the lemon, the vanilla, and the coconut. And since you make it in a blender, you're only gonna get two dishes dirty making breakfast, the blender and a pie tin. So then you're gonna lightly spray a uh, pie pin with some olive oil spray or some coconut oil spray and be ready to use that. Okay, so now we're gonna take all of our ingredients and we're gonna put them in a blender. So we're gonna take some coconut oil that we've already melted and we're gonna take some vanilla extract. Please use the real stuff. We're gonna throw in some salt. We're gonna use aluminum-free baking powder. We're gonna use baking soda. And about six drops of stevia. I love the Sweet Leaf brand. And a couple of pastured or omega three eggs. Then we're gonna take some coconut yogurt, plain coconut yogurt. If you can't find it, please feel free to substitute goat yogurt or sheep yogurt, but please don't use American yogurt or Greek yogurt. It's got casein A1. Then we're gonna add our dry ingredients. We're gonna take some coconut flour and some almond flour and some tapioca. Now I actually prefer cassava, which is more coarse than tapioca, but they're both from the same root. And we're gonna put all that in our blender. Okay, so we'll put that in and we're just gonna pulse it for a little bit. Do that for about 30 seconds. And then take a spatula, scrape it down. Okay, now the other thing, once you've got that blend, you're gonna grate a lemon and just get a grater, get kind of the coarse grater. You don't have to be perfect about this. Please keep your fingers out of the way. I don't want to have to see you in the emergency room. So we're going to take that zest and then we're going to cut the lemon in half. Use a juicer, because a lot of our lemons, particularly here in California, if you're coming out of the yard, are full of seeds. And you don't really want seeded blueberry pancakes. Okay, so we're gonna throw that and the zest back in. And if you wanna do this as part of the first step, that's fine with me. And in goes the zest. Don't be afraid of the zest. Believe it or not, there's an amazing component in lemon peel called lemonine that I've talked about before. It actually contains a really cool compound, so it's great for you every day. Okay, back we go. Stir that around. Great. And we're ready to go. And that's really all you need. This is gonna be fairly thin looking, and that's going right into our pie pan. And then what I like to do is sprinkle the blueberries on top. And we've got some blueberries fresh from the farmer's market. They're actually in season now. And we're just gonna put not too many, but a good handful of blueberries. Remember, fruit is a treat. You have to treat it like candy. Okay, we're ready to throw this in the oven. And away we go.
So you want to bake your pancake until it's golden brown around the edges and firm in the center. It takes about 25 minutes. You know, it's really the perfect amount of time to set the table, wash the dishes, and feed the dog. So when the pancake is done, you want to remove it from the oven and let it cool to room temperature before serving. It'll feed two to three people easily. You know, it's really that easy. Blend, bake, and serve. So the next time you want to feed someone you love a special breakfast, feed them something that loves them back. I'm Dr. Stephen Gundry, and I'm always looking out for you, but right now I'm going to look out for myself. Fantastic. Thanks for watching. Click the circular channel icon to subscribe and make sure you don't miss a single video. Click on the left to watch another great video, and don't forget to visit my website for more of my best tips. Because I'm Dr. Gundry, and I'm always looking out for you.